Hi guys, slightly different video for today. So last week I was playing with overlays in RetroArch. You can see here I have my monitor in portrait mode to play vertical arcade games, which are generally 4-3 aspect ratio, or 3-4 in this case. So on a 16x9 monitor, this leaves black borders at the top and the bottom. The effect is even worse for vertical games on landscape monitors, where there's large black borders either side. Fortunately, a number of tools allow you to add an overlay which can fill these gaps, which I'll show you how to do today. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you what these files look like to create an overlay. So let's navigate to the RetroArch folder. So that's in Users, My Folder, uh, App Data, Roaming, RetroArch, Overlays, and then in this Borders folder. Um, so if we just take a look at one example, this uh, Game Boy uh, border here. So if we look, there are two files. One is a ping file. So this is just the image that's going to be used as the overlay. Um, we can see uh, basically the outline of a, of a Game Boy here. And then along with that image is a .cfg file. Um, this is gb.cfg, um, has this uh, overlay number, uh, the name of the file that's going to be used, whether it's full screen and a setting here. I, actually, I'm not certain what it is. Um, but we can reuse this file, so we can basically just copy it. We can change gb.ping and the name to the name of the uh, image uh, and game that we want to use. So that's what we'll do now. So we'll copy this CFG and we'll stick it. I've got a folder for overlays. So we'll just um, paste um, gb.cfg uh, here. Um, we're going to create an overlay for 1942. So we'll rename that. 1942 and then we'll open it and we'll rename gb.ping 1942.ping and then we'll save so we've now got a um, cfg file for 1942 what we need to do is create an image uh, that's going to be used as the overlay and so generally for this sort of thing i use gimp uh, this uh, gnu uh, image manipulation program so what we're going to do is go file uh, new and we're going to create a um, an image of the um, size that we we want. So I'm using a, a 1080p monitor in portrait mode. So I can change that to portrait, and it defaults to, to 1080p. So we've got um, 1080 by 1920 pixels. Um, so if we hit OK, so that's now created us this um, blank image. What we want to do is because this is going to be overlay over a game. We want where the game is going to be to be transparent. So uh, in this, uh, we can in layer, I think we can go transparency and um, go add alpha channel. I think that will do it. Uh, no. So transparency, we'll remove that. Um, transparency, we'll go color to alpha. Um, and we'll just grab the main color that's on there. OK, there we go. Uh, and then hit OK. So this uh, kind of checkbox here is um, what GIMP uses for, for transparencies. So the next thing we need is some artwork that we're going to use to fill in the gaps uh, around the game. So if we go to, to Google, you can just use uh, Google Image Search and um, you know find some artwork that you want to use. So typically, uh, you know, in this in this for me in a, a vertical format, I'll probably want a marquee at the top and maybe some other other artwork at the bottom. The other thing to be aware of is that the um, vertical arcade games in this case are 4-3 and so you can work out how many pixels that's taking up on the screen and so I know that I've got uh, a 1080, p 1080 wide image and that I basically need 240 pixels at the top and 240 pixels at the bottom to fill that screen. If you're using you know a different screen ratio or a different monitor you know you can just work out um, what the spaces that you've got to, to fill based on the game um, that you're using. So what generally I do is, is just open um, the files um, in, uh, in GIMP and basically just cut and copy um, the pieces that I want. So what we've got here um, is uh, a marquee of um, 1942 and I'll open up. I found another another image that had some 
reasonable artwork I could use. Um, so this, in this case, is a screen grab. Um, but with this uh, border here for 1942, I'm probably just going to grab the bottom off of that. So here, what I'm going to do is go, um, I think I can just go edit cut, and that's just going to cut the whole image because that's probably going to be good for what I'm doing uh, here. Um, and then edit paste. And then if we go tools, transform tools, move. So we can now move move this around. Um, this is obviously too too big. We're at something like um, 200 and no, like 300 pixels. Um, so in tools, there's a transform tools uh, scale. So we want the height to be uh, 240. Okay, so I want to move this over. Um, so we could leave it like that. Um, it's not f filling the width of the screen. Um, so maybe it would make more sense if, again, in tools, we went transform scale. Um, and let's transform the, the width to 1080. And then let's see if we can um, crop this image to, to fill the width. Let's just now see that's now the right width for the image. Uh, I'm going to zoom in so we can now line it up to get um, what we want to do is have this so it's only coming down to 240 pixels. So you see there's 240 there. There we go. So that's now the right height. But we're missing some of our some of our image, so let's see if we can tidy that up. Um, actually, what I think we'll do is we'll just move that down until we've got enough of the image, and then we'll chop the bottom off. So we see that's extending up above, but we've got the text, um, we've got the majority of that plane in. Now let's just um, delete the bottom of that. So if we just go back to the um, what we want is the selection tool. So yeah, if we use the rectangular select, um, and now let's basically we want 240. I'll just grab a box and then I'll resize it to give me the right amount. So let's go there and then let's go down to have a look at the exact exact number of pixels. So if we drag that up to 240, and then you can just select, and if you press delete, it clears. Um, so now we've got a um, marquee at the top that is 240 um, pixels uh, high and spans the width of the screen. So this is what's going to appear at the top of the um, where that black box was. It's going to appear there. So let's grab some, some artwork for the bottom. Um, in this case, let's grab the bottom of this image and we'll just cut that and paste it in here. And again, we're going to use tools, scale, um, and we, oh, in this case, the height is almost 240 pixels. So let's just go to 240, scale that, um, and now we just need to need to move it about a little bit. So basically, this is probably easiest if we just line up the pixels on the bottom. And that should be 1680. Yeah, there we go. Cool, there we go. So what we've got is a an image of um, 
1920 by 1080. And we've got some artwork um, for the top 240 pixels and the bottom 240 pixels. And in the middle is it's transparent. So if we now go file uh, export, I think. Um, so we'll put it in the overlays folder. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just rename this 1942.ping. We'll hit export. There we go, that's done. So now we see that file appear here. We can open it up just to check. There we go. So we've got the, the artwork at the top and the bottom. So now let's go back to uh, RetroArch and, and have a look if we can get that working. So to set up an overlay, you can go, um, you can either load the game up and go in the quick menu in RetroArch, or we can go to on-screen display here. Um, and if we go to on-screen display, display overlay, yes. And then we can change the overlay preset um, and we'll change it to 1942 config so you select the config file and that config file has the name of the the uh, file to use and the other things you can play with are the overlay opacity so if we set it to one it's uh, because our image is already transparent so you could use an actual image and add transparency to it with this setting but our image is natively transparent in the middle and so we don't want to add transparency to our artwork so we're going to set that to one so zero transparency um, you can also scale this if you wanted. So if you had a file that was um, the right ratio, but the image was too big, you could use the scaling here to fit it to your screen. So that's the that's the um, overlay set. So if we now load the content, so if we, um, I'll go and find uh, 1942 ROM, and we'll load this up in MAME. There we go. So now the game is running, we've got that in 4.3, but now we've got the nice artwork at the top and at the bottom. So this is pretty straightforward, pretty simple, I think. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and uh, I'll be back soon with, uh, with more videos. Thank you.